Today I'm going to take a look at Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 versus CS5.5 when doing simple tasks like adding clip markers and uh, synchronizing multiple clips for mod camera editing. I've decided to do this because last time I did spend a very long time indeed trying to synchronize uh, just five clips in two tracks uh, using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 without any luck. Uh, so basically I had to reinstall my CS5.5 to achieve this task on my system. So I'm going to use similar type of footage for this which is HDV 1440x1080i. To start with we're just gonna jump into Premiere Pro CS6 and this is what you can see. Um, right for me to do this synchronizing I need the waveform in my audio there and there isn't any at all. Um, I don't know where the waveform is. Uh, probably you have to wait until CS6 starts redrawing as it is just done. Um, it's redrawing the, the, the waveform right now so we're just gonna wait and see how far we have to wait for it to achieve this. <laughs> Here we go. The waveform is back now so what you need to do is um, for me to achieve my uh, the most precise synchronizing I need to use one point of uh, where the wave has got some similar characteristics like right there there is a high pitch there so I'm just gonna place my player there and here we go I've just zoomed this sequence in. I mean, just zooming in, the, the, the waveform disappeared. Now I can't do my precise editing. I zoom out again. There you go, it comes back, but it just, just disappeared in this, in the clip there. Right, anyway, let's zoom up to right there. For me to place a clip marker on this clip, I have to double click it and send it into the source panel this source monitor yeah there we go we've got my clip marker right there but if the waveforms comes back and they realize that I've placed this on a wrong position what do I have to do okay I'll have to go back in there right click on that and clear all markers or clear current markers where it is so I'll say clear current marker there it's gone anyway let me just move it I think I need to place it somewhere right there well still waiting for the waveform anyway it's just disappeared I need to place it somewhere there right where my player is okay so I have to double click it again I want my clip marker to go where my player position is so hit the key here mm, it's gone in the wrong position it's gone in the first position where it was before okay that's creative suite 6 I will undo that again um, let's let's move it a little bit further down double click this sequence again now still placing it in the wrong position as you can see right there that's creative suite 6 for you and still the audio waveform is still not available for me to place my precise uh, clip markers now as you can see now we're spending quite a long time trying to figure out to get the audio to come back and uh, we can't do nothing at all without the audio waveform for this no nothing at all hmm okay let's see if it has changed now to say we want our clip marker to go right there we've moved the player once again where is now no. 
right it's still inserting the clip marker on the wrong frame we don't want the clip marker to be right there we want it to be right here I'll undo again and try again now it's gone on the wrong frame again the first frame which you used when you started inserting clip marker on this clip so absolutely there's no like for us to get this unless you have to quit CS6 and relaunch again to insert that clip marker right let's see if we can get the audio no still no no waveform right there that's creative suite 6 okay if we zoom if we zoom out the kind of the audio waveform comes back but anyway we're wasting a lot of time right here I did waste that time indeed on several occasions CS6 oh no luck anyway after spending a few good hours trying to do this and going downstairs making a cup of tea coming back to see if I can do anything uh, there was absolutely no luck that day was a great waste of my time I then decided to reinstall my champion which is CS 5.5 right now as you can see in CS 5.5 now we got the audio um, audio waveform in all the clips all the clips have got the waveform right there and this is gonna be easy for us it's gonna take us a couple of minutes to to synchronize this so to start with I'm just gonna right zoom in on zoom in on to that I can use the these holders on top there to zoom in um, I want to use something like that this is synchronized already so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my clip marker there by going on to marker clip marker and click set do the same as well for the other clip right we don't have to click to click this to go to, to send it to this uh, source monitor to place any clip marker. Now let's see. I think the last clip marker was placed on the wrong frame, so I want to move it a couple of frames. Somewhere there. Oh yeah, I still get another set of clip markers on there without no problem. You can see that. Then I can synchronize it anyway. Um, right, that's all. That's all done for the first set of clips. Now I'm gonna come to this bit here. I'm gonna synchronize that. As you can see now, I don't even lose my. You see, this has already been synchronized. So basically, you know. I just want to show you how good it is to synchronize this with CS 5.5. The wet form remains there, it doesn't disappear. You can come on, go over there, uh, synchronize it. I didn't synchronize this anyway, so as you can see, it's all synchronized. Zoom in, zoom out, your waveform doesn't disappear at all. Mm, very fast indeed you can see the waveform is still right there zoom into the last frame there you go we still got the waveform we haven't lost it at all now let's go back to CS6 and see what's happening no luck. Hmm. So that's it for me for today. Basically, you've seen it for yourself how easy it is to use CS 5.5 as compared to CS 6, uh, which is the most recent release from Adobe Premiere Pro team.